Hey Audacious Church, my name's Phil Hudson. I serve on A Teams and along with my wife Louise, we serve on response team at Central Location and run a small group here in Oldham. I have the privilege of bringing you today's devotion with a reading from Proverbs 4, 23. The NLT version puts it like this. Guard your heart above all else, for it determines the course of your life. I mean, wow, your entire life's direction depends on this. On this. So how do we guard our hearts? Well, for me, I must focus on the goodness of God and his unfailing love and mercy. The heart is like a, a command centre of your mind and soul. But it's easy to forget this and focus on negative thoughts and emotions, to worry about situations beyond your control. There are so many distractions these days that can take your focus off God temporarily, like social media, negative news, the future, your workplace environment, and even thoughts about regrets and hurts from the past. Louise will tell you that I used to think so negatively. I was quick to anger. I thought the world was against me. I thought I couldn't get a break. I had to work 10 times harder to achieve anything. I was literally pushing God out of my heart and trying to take control myself, letting my emotions govern my actions. But now my relationship with Jesus is at a deeper level with a daily habit of reading God's word, praying without ceasing, surrounding myself with godly people. God is working in my life and is continuing to change me, moulding me to be more like Jesus. And I now feel a real joy deep down in my heart that I didn't have before. And I all pray that this joy overflows to the people I come in contact with. I know that God searches our hearts, he weighs our hearts, he tests our hearts. To be, he wants our hearts to be pure and devoted to him. Psalm 28, 7 reads, The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him and helps me. My heart leaps for joy and with my song I will praise him. I think it's wonderful and truly amazing that we can yearn with all our hearts for God's presence and touch today and every day. Therefore, guard your heart above all else, for it determines the course of your life. And as Pastor Glynn said in a recent preach, keep on keeping on. I pray that you all have a blessed day, everyone. Amen.